Welcome back to Angel Puzzle video. Today we're gonna be talking about some tropics and some wintry weather. As the topic for today on the National Service website is Ada impacting Florida again, flooding possible across the Carolinas and the Mid Atlantic. We'll get into that a little bit later when we go to our segments on the models and on the National Hurricane Center site. Um, but we also have some wintry systems upcoming, and we already have some winter storm watches for that storm. So let's jump right on into it. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now, let's actually move on here to the radar real quick. Um, some snow showers in the Rockies into the Northern Plains. Uh, so this rain over here is part of two systems one is ada which is currently impacting florida and we have this right here which is the thunderstorm line from constance and if you haven't seen my winter storm constance video i'll link it in the cards above but this is now moving off the coast uh this was that cold front there so let's move on here to the satellite imagery so you can see that system in the east as well as Ada then you have basically just some light showers here uh, you can also see the low pressure consisting of constants so the big thing here is this right over here we're starting to see some clouds roll on to the west coast that is part of our next system which could become a winter storm now let's move on here to the National Hurricane Center Just a quick overview here, uh, Ada right now has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 993 millibars and is moving north at 12 miles an hour, currently impacting Florida. Theta is moving east-northeast at 12 miles an hour with maximum sustained winds of 65 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 990 millibars. So that is continuing to move east and it is now expected to become a post-tropical cyclone right as it starts to turn to the north which is what i was expecting now we also have this system this disturbance is a 50 percent chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours and it has 90 percent chance of development in five days now there isn't much in terms of the spaghetti models for the storm i was going to make this video a in-depth look into Invest 98L, which this has been named that, but uh, the spaghetti models are a little on the short side or the lacking amount. So that's a quick overview of the tropics. I'm, I'm expecting this one to form. It will probably form within the next probably 48 to 72 hours. I think two to three days is probably the timeline here. But let's move on here to winter weather outlooks. So we're just going to quickly go through this. Um, we're going to start to see this area over here fill in as we move over the next few days. You can see this is one inch, 95% chance that dark red, that color is going to become much more abundant here in the Cascades and into the Rockies. Then we start to see this move into the Plains as well, but overall we could probably see 18 inches of snow from the system at its peak. So let's see here. Just want to quickly go through this 18 inches of snow. You start to see those percentages going up in some of the tallest mountains. And in parts of the Cascades here, this is Saturday. We could possibly see a 40 to 50 percent chance of seeing that. Now, six inches is probably a more realistic thing to look at right now. Uh, so, as we move across here, of course, moving on to the coast right now, then it starts to get into full swing. Let's actually go to Saturday. And you can see, starting to see those 95% chances. And more of them there and by Sunday Saturday into Sunday yeah so I do think that this will become a winter storm if it doesn't in the mountain west it could when it moves into the central part of the country and let's get into that more in the models 
So here's the NAM 3 kilometer model. Okay, so basically, big thing here is Ada making landfall, and this system in the east moving out, some snowy showers in the central part of the country. This is definitely not going to get named. I really don't think it will. If so, it's technically part of, I think it's part of Constance. Um, but then you have this, just a huge wave of moisture and energy moving onto the coast of Washington, Oregon, California, and just hammering the Mountain West. Now, as we move to the very end here, you can start to see freezing rain risks and the moisture getting pulled up out of the Gulf. Now, this is very common for fall and spring. You start to see this low pressure draw up that moisture. That makes this line of thunderstorms here, and you also get this snowy side. This could definitely spark some winter storm warnings in the heavily populated areas of Minnesota. And let's continue on here. So the GFS really doesn't have this system, but it has yet another one moving on to the west coast and that starts to produce some wintry weather. But let's actually go to the Canadian model. Uh, the Canadian doesn't have this either. Now, they have it more developing into Canada. But I'm thinking that this could definitely happen here. And if it does, I think it will get named because you do have the Twin Cities under there. You have Duluth, um, maybe parts of Marquette. We really don't have enough information for that but overall you have some more heavily populated areas getting impacted by this next system and then you have another one rolling onto the coast too so it's all a matter of when and where those winter storm warnings pop up and the amount of people living under that warning so Let's wait and see here, but this could be our next winter storm. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.